All right, welcome back to Drink the Video Games. I am Brian, and I am here with another LucasArts adventure flip through. Uh, so this one we are looking at is number 10. Uh, so we're getting towards the end here. Uh, made it up into double digits for the uh, for the catalog here. Uh, this one is coming from summer of 1995, uh, featuring Mortimer, an adventure just for kids. Uh, that's not a game I'm super familiar with, uh, to be honest, but I love that. I love this little snail guy. He looks pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, flip into this guy and see what we got. So we've got a Dear Adventurer here. It's a letter uh, from the editor, a little bit more uh, magazine uh, forward there. It's got your table of contents uh, there. So we've got <laughs> Sue trying to come up with an interesting thing about Eleven Sesserman. So thanks, Sue. There, <laughs> the editor in chief. Got some quick takes here, some news, what we got going on, uh, Lucas Arts wise. Uh, love to see that. You got uh, here now featuring the uh, new website for Lucas Arts. So that's pretty wild uh, to think back. You know, when all these companies were having to uh, figure out how they're going to do their online uh, presence, and then you know where to where to find us there. have uh, plenty of news here. LucasArts launches Big Mac Attack, so that's good. All the uh, Mac ports there. Star Wars Special Editions celebrate film's 20th anniversary. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 1997 coming out, so we're getting, you know, a little bit closer to that. So these apparently were just announced, so, you know, kind of an article about that there. Bad Bikes, Big Bad Gangs, Big Bad World, Big Bad Party. All right, launch of Full Throttle. That's pretty cool. Little press release there. All right, and here we are talking about uh, Mortimer. So this is a, a children's adventure game. Like I said, I'm not really that familiar with it. Um, in terms of that, I imagine it's pretty stripped down, but I would guess that it uh, you know, had a lot of that same LucasArts humor and stuff like that. The screenshots here look uh, really good. And I love that character design for the snail. Oh, that's great, look at that. It's like a tree mushroom house looking thing and then my favorite part about Mortimer here uh is this has a lot of Jar Jar Binks vibes right here uh this is snail guy let me flip back to the snail right there so this guy we'll look at his uh just his uh, facial animations there a lot of Jar Jar Binks making Mortimer uh, all sorts of stuff Mortimer got a really big spread here lights camera action for Rebel Assault 2 a new Star Wars story absolutely Love Rebel Assault 2. Um, it's a, kind of like a FMV, like pilot shooter game, right? The sequel to the second one there. Got your blue screen behind the scenes shots there. It looks really good, uh, the rendered uh, video that we had for Rebel Assault 2. And now, <laughs> Pepperoni marks a spot in the dig. The dig nears release. That's right, we are getting close to the dig. I uh, love the dig. The dig was, you know, pretty big deal because it had, you know, Steven Spielberg had his name attached to it and all that stuff. So it was really uh, kind of on that hype train uh, back when the dig was getting ready to come out. And we'll be talking about the dig. I'll be doing a playthrough of that and stuff uh, for the channel. So keep keep your eyes open for that. Uh, Indy Unearths' Most Valuable Treasures. This is Indiana Jones and the Desktop Adventures. Of course, we also had uh, Yoda Stories, which was pretty much the same thing. It was more or less just kind of a you know, a little sprite swap here between indie and Star Wars. So, uh, but those are really fun games. I loved, um, I never played the Indiana Jones, but I uh, had Yoda stories and that one was great. So, Calia 2095. I don't know what that is. I've never even heard of it. Uh, that is awesome though. Look at that. Look at these, uh, these uh, screenshots of it. It looks pretty good. We got Sam and Max here, our story. Yeah, crazy zebras here. Love the little Sam and Max cartoons. Uh, this experience has kind of got me on the uh, lookout for some Sam and Max uh, comics, just because I would be interested in reading those a little bit. Lucas Who, this time we were talking about Tim Schafer. It's a whole page there about Tim Schafer. Uh, that is pretty good. Uh, came to uh, LucasArts in uh, 1989, so that's cool. Uh, full throttle, Tim Schafer adventure there. And then we've got Gwen Musa Musangwa. There, that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see, he came to, uh, looks like it's right out of uh, college, so that would be pretty cool. Worked on Day of the Tentacle. 
got the tech bench there uh, talking about how to get all these games running on your computer and then we are into the lucas arts company store uh oh we got it's like a little insert here for this one so there's your order form there's where you uh the envelope put your check in uh so that's pretty cool you get your orders in you can still fax them in though if you have, have a fax machine uh, and then the LucasArts Company Store. Star Wars Collectibles and Leading Edge LucasArts Entertainment Company Products. Uh, we got Full Throttle there. Down to $44.95. It keeps coming down in price a little bit. Free Bandana. Dark Forces there. Uh, same price. That comes with the players, guys. That's pretty good. Got the uh, Desktop Adventures there. Indiana Jones. Only $19.95. That's a pretty good deal. And then the Super Nintendo. You got your LucasArts product line checklist, right? So that's pretty cool. It actually lays out uh, the games uh, that were available and what uh, format they were available in. So that's uh, actually a pretty handy little checklist. That's actually really cool. To let you know what you're going to be able to get. You got TIE Fighter up there and X-Wing. Got a couple of hats. Those are good. And you still have your... Uh, flight simulators, uh, though not quite as much, right? We've got uh, the Star Wars ones now. Those are kind of taken over. Uh, you got your screensaver. You got Rebel Assault. Price reduced. And then getting into the merch here for Star Wars. So we got models, some bendoms. People love the bendoms. I never had one. Uh, soundtrack, screenplays. Got the Art of books down here. That's pretty good. $18. What a steal. Those are a good deal. I got the radio drama here, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, indie soundtracks, got some posters. Ties. Oh, I love the trench run tie. Have to look that up. Boxer shorts, you know, got your watches, all the good stuff. The ILM Art of Special Effects. Uh, that is a coffee table book illustrated with hundreds of photographs, paintings, and frame enlargements. That is pretty cool. I don't know, is that, I guess that's just a, like a TV remote to let you know that it's uh, meant for your coffee table, uh, of course. And got some more stuff, got your plates, got your pewter figures, trading cards, and then just uh, some LucasArts stuff there as well. Hats, watches, coffee mugs, THX stuff. Look at that. Uh, that THX clock, that's rad. That looked good on the desk for sure. And then a couple more things here. We've got the LucasArts archives uh, that includes all those games. That's a really good deal for $30. We're gonna get it on floppy disk for $19.95. Uh, I got some mouse pads there. That's like a Rebel Assault image there. That's pretty cool. And that is it for this issue. Um, so it's introducing the LucasArts Adventures Archive, uh, Volume 1, and uh, that. So that is issue number 10, The Adventure, featuring Mortimer, just an adventure for kids. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, these flip throughs have been really fun. We've got a couple more to go, so uh, stay tuned. We'll get the next ones out to you uh, very shortly. So thanks again.